Look at this open. Hey, everybody, cardboard. Jesus, well, welcome. It is time to do Bowman Baseball Hobby 2017, number 11. Gonna take essentially one hour to do. One hour, maybe a little bit longer. All right, hamster, you gotta go over here. Let's, you know, all right, I'm just gonna stack this up all out the way and just get this started. You can't weigh Bowman cases, so we're just gonna go with this. Mmm, I do like chicharrones. Oh, I don't like it, A second airborne. I still think it's like too tight. Like you can't see the boxes here. It's like standard for what everybody else is doing, but it's I don't I don't like it. But there are some that uh, you know that love it, that uh, that appreciate being able to see all of the cards, and so it shall so it shall be. No, he does not. Um, yeah, well, the closet. Like, I, I had been working out of the, out of a cubicle for a little bit. The cubicle now has got, uh, Mario in it. Doing his Pokemon breaks. But yeah, closet is now partial storage. It's it's a long a long story. Well I mean we haven't been in there that long. Oh this is gonna take a this is gonna take a quick minute. Where is Jesse when you need him to pack stack? Ooh, is that a gold? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not making promises, but it looks like a gold refractor maybe coming up. Not sure if it's an autograph hole or not. It is not, but it is a Nick Birdie. Gold refractor for the twins. Oh, that's pretty much a guarantee. We got a gold Tyler Bead Bowman Scouts. He is the number eighty-six in the top one hundred. And the Hangley Dohairs Andrew Sopko is your first autograph. It is refractor version. Sister t -t 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 studio is crappy.
God, why can't I mean why can't you guys like jumbos better? Why I ask? Purple Fracture, Chalmers. And I didn't bother to get in boxes, did I? Nope. Simply gonna take how long it takes. I'm not. I want all ham on this on this mess. Murder the room either way. So, yeah, the him in as a player auction in Chrome. It's probably going to be ridiculous. Like, I may just sell him separately in Chrome. Barretto purple paper. Autograph for Alex Bregman of the Astros. Rookie action Astros. Chris Fitz. Solid card.
Let's say silver, Brendan Rogers. Let's say blue, Medina Refractor, 70th anniversary. Funky Cold, even. This is going to be two. Two boxes down. Uh, Rutherford. Doll purple. Paper. Um, you do not. You do not. Uh, you would have to talk to random.org about that. I don't know if they have a, uh, if they have some kind of arrangement with, uh, breakers. Wouldn't that be, uh, wouldn't that just be something that would they, if, if breakers did their own random, you know, dot org thing. And having VIP like increase your chances of getting, you know, top spot in a random by like one percent. Although most people do random, random fillers anyway. Oh, not yet, Jay Clem. This one is going slow. This one is going slow. It's uh, it's hard. A silver Gohara for the Braves. Purple Fractor Hater Brewers. Okay. 
God, I hate draft or I hate hobby. Cisco blue refractor for the Orioles. And for the Reds, for Dale, is your autograph in this one? Goodness. So many boxes for me. Let's go with a B twelve shot. Chris Fitz has the Astros. He was on YouTube earlier, but I know is on like vacation with his uh, family right now, so he may be like off and on. I want Sabrina to blow up too. I know somebody that has probably the world's greatest collection of Sabrina cards on earth.
Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. Yes, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes, uh-huh. Blue refractor upcoming. Is it in a auto spot? It's not. Eric Jenkins, Rangers. Chicago Cubs, Eloy Jimenez, autograph card. Eloy, you are my friend. So is the Angels Brian Downing. Because you like to do things that we like to do and have fun with them. Because those are fun things to do. And that's why you're a cool dude. Chris Sale, Silver. Red Sox. Look at all this prospect talk while we're doing Bowman. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Sweet mother of mercy. Here, one second. Oh, 82nd Airborne, I don't know. With Bowman Hobby, I don't know. And listen, I'm going to get it all done. I'm going to break it. I'm going to open it all. It's just so many packs. So many Godforsaken packs. Give me strength, little hamster, to go through the rest of these eight boxes cleanly, smoothly, efficiently, and entertainingly. Let's see if we can do that. Your dead eyes are saying yes. Yes, you can do it. So, yes, I will, hamster. Yes, I will. Well, this one's Japanese, too. And everybody in the room generally hates it. Jesse only recently found out about its existence. Yeah, when I went to, when I went to Tokyo, that's, uh, uh, what is, what's his, uh, name... Kazu gave it to me. That was my gift from Kazu.
Dude, I love that place. I would, I'll never go back, but I would love to. No. No, I mean, he didn't, he really spoke no English. So, I mean, communication was near impossible. Apparently, Google Translate is not the best for, uh, for Japanese. But, I mean, Tokyo was out of this world amazing. Like, I would, I would go back in a heartbeat. I would take the 15-hour plane ride or whatever it was. Chris Shaw, Silver Paper. If nothing else for ramen and vending machines. <laughs> I didn't see. I I swear I didn't. I I said that before I saw what you uh, what you wrote, and I know you wrote what you wrote before I said what I said. Dude, they have some good stuff. I mean, and the, the cool thing about the vending machines is you could get hot stuff. Seth was thinking, like, if you wanted, like, hot tea because it was cold outside, you just, they had, like, red, red sections and blue sections of the vending machines. The ramen ones I never really figured out. I never saw the sleep pods. Like, I was... I was kind of isolated to the area around, like, the Tokyo Dome. Like, I didn't get, like, a much, like, way farther out than that, except for a couple of times. Orange Refractor. Potential Auto Spot. Mets PJ. Con lo... No, I mean, I just about, I just about lived off the one in the hotel vending, the hotel vending machine when I was there. That and a 7-Eleven, it was like just down the street that sold like everything you could humanly want. Yeah, I mean, this place was beautiful. Just beautiful. Clean. The people were, like, almost too nice. Like, me being, like, from, you know, living in Miami for as long as I have, like, I just wanted, like, shoulder check one of them so badly because they were just, like, always getting out of your way for stuff. You know, you're just used to having somebody, like, want to front and, you know, be a D. Even on the, even the subway, like... You know, like the people, like were infinitely helpful with all with all of that. And the best meal that I've ever had in my entire life, like some Kobe beef, fancy like seven course restaurant thing. Oh my god. So amazing. So amazing. Okay. I just gotta get out of this country again. I think that's that's my next that's my next goal. Get out of the United States for a little bit. International world needs to know who the cardboard Jesus is.
I still feel bad. My poor little, my poor cleaning lady that I left like I don't know, fourteen cases of paper base. That I left in the room when I, when I checked out. Or not even when I checked out, just like when I left. Dude, I'd... I mean, again, the place is just amazing. I left that lady every bit of change that I had. And in Tokyo, change is as good as, like, paper money. Like, yen, like, is in, you know, you, it's, it's almost more in coin than it is in, like, dollar form. Yeah, I mean, the not being, not hearing English... I will I will say was like a like really got to me after a while the no English and like the no solid food you know like it wasn't like really chips per se yeah you know, like I mean at least that I saw like around so like that was a little bit tough Solak blue 70th anniversary Yankees I mean, probably long term might have been able to. Because, like, even like I, I, I mean, I broke down and went to a McDonald's at like towards the very, very end of the trip. And even that, like, wasn't like really good. Orange Refractor, Ibanez, Blue Paper. Don't don't think it's in a it's not Routus Ron Neal and Urseg Purple Urseg Purple Refractor for the Brewers. Is a very nice Earth egg. Very nice. Uh, see, I didn't, man. There was nobody. Well, the only place that spoke, like, good English was the fancy restaurant that I went to. Bryce Harper Gold Paper. It's the fancy restaurant. Like, they, they spoke absolute perfect English. That was the only place. The hotel... The ho okay, the hotel I stayed at, nothing. There was like a hotel next door where like I picked up the the like the bus to get back to the uh, airport. That hotel spoke good English. And, oh my god, they had, uh, they had ice cream vending machines that, uh, I was very fond of.
They had like one in particular, like some crunch. Something crunch candy. I don't know what it was exactly, but oh my goodness. Delicious. Kit Kats. Also very popular there in many different uh, flavors. Green tea Kit Kats. Strawberry Kit Kats. This is Mr. Dew knows. Mr. Dew has uh, been up in there, up in that piece before. I do. I brought uh, that's uh, that's like the, basically the only thing that I declared coming back was candy. The guy looked at me. He's like, he's like, what you know? What did you bring back? I'm like, candy. That was it. And that's basically all that I did bring back was candy. I mean, I, I mean, I brought back some nunchuck skills. And some throwing star scales, and then candy. They had some crazy fruit too. That like it was something else. It was pretty awesome. Like. They was had like their version of what like a Whole Foods or Fresh Market, but it was like inside of a mall, and they had like a giant cantaloupe. This is huge, ginormous, but it was like forty bucks. And like what I read was like they give them as like, gifts or something, something like that. I don't know. I don't know, even though I carried my carried my blade around with me all the time, the Liberator at that time, before it got lost, like I carried that in my pocket everywhere I went. I was never like it never felt unsafe. Nice. Yeah, do you almost just like just want to help the people there? Like they're they're so nice. Sinzel silver paper for the Reds. I mean the one I don't well it's not even weird, but there's no trash cans anywhere. There's like there was no trash cans anywhere I was because nobody like n nobody had trash around them. Cole Stewart red paper seventieth anniversary. Like you just didn't. You... Trevor Story ascent. Colorado Rockies. I just I love the place. I absolutely loved it. This is true. I should have uh, I should have taken gum with me, but I didn't. Well, I mean, you just don't like you're not walking outside like drinking a tw you know a, a forty ounce and then just like throwing it in the thing like you when you're outside like you're traveling like you're. They're going from place to place. So you just don't have it. Blue Andrew McCutcheon. God, the one there's some it was like this ramen place across the street from the hotel. Oh, God, kill one of these one of my neighbors here to to go back to it.
It also may be one of the one of the times I was most hung over in my life. There. They had like some some like lemonade stuff. I forget what it was exactly. But uh good god, it it was like 9%. But it tasted like lemonade. I don't recommend it in large quantities. Here's my water. <sighs> yeah, they had like another thing. Like, I mean, I didn't uh, partake in it, but like cigarettes. Like, if you wanted to smoke, you only smoked like in a like in a confined little area around a vending machine that sold cigarettes. Now you had to have like a card or something like to verify your age to to buy you know like buy the cigarettes. But like that like there was just like you didn't like just walk around smoking and then just you know like flip a butt away or something like they are rationed that I did not know. I just noticed that like on like because I from the hotel to to Kazoo, like I would walk it every day. There was no point. Like I didn't want to. You know I enjoyed the walk. It was it, the weather was was it was joyous. Yeah, I lived off the Seven Eleven. Yeah, see, I, I mean, I didn't, like, I, I mean, I don't smoke, so I didn't, I wasn't, like, looking for it, but it just, it, it was just weird. Taxis, like, hyper clean. Too. And they had, I mean, they had like an Uber app before, like, before I think Uber was an app. So, like a taxi would come pick you up and like, take you where you needed to go, which was handy. Alright, after this one we're going to be down to four more. After this one we're going to be down to four They had chargers for all of the different, uh, all your different stuff in it. And I don't, I, I don't think that you're like supposed to tip there, but I did. I always gave the cab guy my, like extra money. Because I would all, like, I was the only time I was taking the cab, like I would walk to Kazoo's. Then Kazoo's, I go up to the third floor where his where his store was. I would haul down like a dozen cases of draft to the street level, then call for a taxi, load them up in the taxi, and take them back to the hotel. And the guy was like always very helpful with putting them in, and you know, help me take them out. You know, didn't whoever it was, like they was always. 
Blue Wave, Jake Bowers. And uh, Hino Yosa, I tried to tip at the fancy, fancy uh, restaurant place, and they like straight up were like, "No, no, 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 no!" Like this is uh, it's all included, and they gave me like a gift pack, a gift bag of like ramen to take home. That's. Cisco orange paper. I don't know if my wife could handle Thailand. Like, I mean, the food, like, I could handle easy peasy. But she's a weird one with, uh, with what she eats. But I'd like to. I mean, honestly, Italy would be, like, my first other choice of destination just because I studied so much Renaissance and art history when I was in college. I'd love to see it for once. <laughs> so they, they knew better than to just let you guys... Run loose. I just want to see like the arty stuff, you know, the frescoes and museums and, and whatnot. People not not as nice as the uh, as the eastern folks. Oh, dang, we've got double. So I the first thing I need to I need to learn to do is to is to how to say go F yourself in Italian. Before I before I head over there. After this, we've only got three more. Gutierrez, uh, red paper. Okay, we've got one spun around. Not, I don't, I don't like that sign. For some reason, that. Uh, that bothers me. Okay. 
No, I'll I'll show them what shame is American style. Got an orange refractor upcoming. I don't know. I do not know yet. Know if it is in a autograph spot or not. It is not, but it is Brent Honeywell. Orange refractor for the Rays. I will go straight up USA on a fool. A Bregman Blue is so far the best thing, O Rock. Uh, Cole Hamels, gray paper. I guess if we're being uh, being honest about it, we got three more boxes after this. Well, Dansby Swanson for the Braves. Got that too. Yeah, Eloy base, Swanson. It was not terrible. Not terrible. Ursek's first Bowman, isn't it? And I will defer to Red Dragon and say then the best card we have hit is the Eloy Jimenez base autograph. Oh, another fancy checklist card. Another one. Yes, yeah, first Bowman autograph. But not his first Bowman card. Am I right about that? Oh, I have one of my own. 82nd Airborne. This one's mine. I'm gonna get it. Uh, I'm gonna get it graded, PSA graded here uh, eventually. I'm not even kidding about that too. That card will be slab here before too long. Checklist number three. I got checklist number two. Is he? It's clean. It's a clean card. It is a very clean card. Centering is decent enough. I mean, I'm thinking. I think I'm, I'm thinking eight. Anything under a seven, I'm gonna be highly disappointed. <laughs> You're damn right, a second airborne pop one. If there ever was such a thing. If you, if you could even just look at the look at a pop report and be like, so what's you know what's what are all the pop ones like? What is the hell? Checklist number three from Bowman from what like two thousand and like nineteen ninety one Bowman checklist. Ooh, a silver five. Nice. Now that. That, my friends, would be a rainbow. One, two, three, four, five. I don't even know how many how many there is. But mine, the number two or number three is strong. Because it's got Ken Griffey, Ken Griffey Jr., Omar Vizquel, uh, Ruben Sierra, Palmero. George Brett, Kirk Gibson. It's a, it's a strong one. It is a strong one. It's 
got to be five. It's got to be five. I mean, there's not, you know, because you've got a single slash, a single slash, and then there's others with, like, a slash and a slash and another slash. How many are there? Hang on, I'm going to click on this. Heck, did somebody seriously graded a checklist five? <laughs> yeah, but it's Roman numerals. It's Roman numerals. Even though this is America, which kind of makes it pretty BS. But it is, you know... It is what it is, frankly. Orange paper, Jake Thompson. Phillies. And orange, Amir Garrett, number 53 for the Reds. This ain't Italy. Well, well yeah, I was going to say, I almost... Almost blew it, but this yeah, this isn't even a panini. This is tops. So this should be straight up American. Marte's blue paper, Astros. Orange shimmer upcoming. Autograph potential is unknown as of right now. And it will be non-autographed. It will be for Nate Smith of the Angels. Oh, if I if I get it, when I get it slabbed, regardless of the grade, style mount, I'm going to put it up for like $9,000 and just wait for people to... Ask questions. Refractor autograph Jalen Miller of the Giants. That is international relations at its finest. That is international relations at its finest. Eat some international food, wash it down with some American beers. Now, dude, now, you, now you gotta decide what you wanna have uh, have for dessert and how, how that affects uh, international relations. Yeah, Biggio. He's a Hall of Famer at least. So you got that going for you. Well, we're still working on the act of duty. We're still trying to get that turned into, uh, into active Skype from... A bar in Colorado. Oh my god, two more. Two more. And I will not have political type discussions going on while I'm trying to complain about me opening a lot of Bowman cards. Alright, complaints will come directly from this guy.
I don't care. I, I mean, listen, frankly, I don't care what you think about any of it. We're bitching about Bowman right now. Let's let's stay focused. It's a good way to look at a second born. I mean, it's, it's, military gonna handle what military need to handle. Either way, just as Bowman is gonna handle what Bowman got to handle. Either way. <laughs> there should be a counter strike. On studio, yes, I will not. I am not gonna try and try and uh, sway you from that. Yeah, well, listen. I mean, I I can I can definitely handle the the chemical warfare. That I can handle. My turkey sandwich is uh, you know sitting in a ugly spot. I will refrain from going and uh, hitting like Taco Bell or anything today. That I can tell you. I just want to go home and be with my wife right now. That's all. Uh, that's my that's my number one goal. Gold shimmer. Christian Stewart Tigers gold paper. Non auto Ahmed Razario for the Mets. Mets tend to do very well in this stuff. Ooh. We're going to go ahead and say this is the best card that's come out of this. Blue Blake Rutherford, New York Yankees Baseball Organization. Blue Refractor Autograph. Good card. Red Dragon. It's only I mean it's 34. It's not it's not even it's not even eBay 101. I just Throw this uh, over somewhere. Toss it out of the way. Oh, checklist number four has shown up. Checklist number four has shown up. Red Paper Grand Homes. Yeah, the Rutherford's a good card. This is not, as a whole, been a bad case at all. I've had some decent cards out of me. Jimenez, the Rutherford, the Bregman, Purple Ursay, Urseg. Um, 
that then that's gonna it's gonna be the most epic rainbow ever. That's what. And our last box. He was trying to get the full rainbow of checklist cards. What he was trying to do while he was playing. My mom hates Barrel Strawberry for whatever reason. I've got some cousins that like, I don't know, he speaks at like some of their like church camps or whatever kind of horse mess. But mom does not think that he should have been given three chances by Major League Baseball. No, seriously. I mean, if I can, I mean, listen, I'm automatically keeping. Keeping those. It's, I'm just not. I'm not going to random them. So now I've got. Two, three, and four. But I I don't know how, I don't know how many checklists there are. And honestly, I don't even know if that's all from the same year of Bowman. Oh, that's Mr. Dude, probably what's gonna happen. Somebody's gonna realize that there's like some some ding dong like me hunting them down and is gonna put like a four hundred dollar price tag on it when I when I want to pay fifty cents plus the shipping for the card. And there's no way to know how many they how many they made. Yeah. What if that is the only number four that they stamped? Purple paper, Grant Holmes. Shimmer upcoming, but we all know that blue shimmers are not ever autographed. It is the Victor Robles Nationals. And last one is going to the Brewers, Freddy Peralta. I'm going to take some Tylenol here in a little bit. Son of a motherless goat.
Yeah, I, that, that, I mean, that was really too clever for me to think like I would be the only one that would, uh, that would desire all of them. But there's got, there's got to be more than six. There has to be more than six. Because number two runs 123 to 180. Well, they're di they're different years. They're different years. And that's all. That's part of it too. A red Kyle Lewis Bowman Scouts top one hundred. For the Mariners, numbered three out of five. And that, my friends, is the break. Autographs just for uh, if you don't want to sit through the whole thing again Type situation we got a uh, Peralta Brewers the Blake Rutherford blue for the Yankees probably best card Jalen Miller refractor a Swanson base Hinosa Hinoyosa base a Trevor Story ascent 299 Urseg purple the Con Lon Orange, Jimenez base, Fridell base, a Bregman blue, and a Sopco refractor. Nice case. 